Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So the consensus seems to be art dolls. Um, I've had a few subscribers mention that they would like to see more art dolls. So um, I love doing these and I will do this forever if you'll let me. <laughs> so um, anyway, Irma asked me to do a shabby chic art doll. And so that's what we will uh, touch on today. But I just wanted to show you on Friday, I made these ones um, just myself for fun because I was I actually had two minutes where I could do something fun. <laughs> Hold on just a second. I wanted to show you. This is kind of what these art dolls um, started out as. I don't mean that I finally got to do something fun like I never got to do anything fun. What I do for a job is fun. It was just on my own time playing. So that's what I mean by fun. I always have fun because I love making all the things that I make. So sorry if that came out wrong <laughs> but anyway I just got to play on my own um I started out by just putting colors all over a piece of paper just with um my card like I've been doing that you guys have seen if you haven't seen me do this I'm so sorry it's so loud outside um I get paint and then I just kind of go all over with these fake credit cards that they send you in the mail um, but you can use whatever, if you have one of those uh, stiff, there's actually um, like little tools for doing that. I don't know what they're called, but they're kind of like a little squeegee scraper type tool. And you can do it with that as well. So that's what I did. Or a big paintbrush works great too. So I just went all over the paper and then I just kind of tore it out. I didn't really even have anything in mind when I tore this one out. But once she was torn out, I was like, oh, I can see, you know, I could do some shoulders and then it was like oh it kind of looks like she has her hands in her pockets so like her arms are here um just i just sketched that out really quick with one of my thin black uh pens these little skinny sharpie pens uh fine line and then i added a piece of tim holtz um what do you call that tissue <laughs> and then uh little shoes that I got from Gatherer of Great Things, um, Carol, I always want, it's Linda Carol, Linda Carol Art, um, Gatherer of Great Things on Etsy, she has all the little funny shoes and faces and all that, so I do like to use those because, um, you know, I have my heads that I did, and these are my funky art doll faces, um, and I did them with the paint the same way, just here and there. And then like this one, I, I found words in a book. It says her crazy art. And then I took my black pen and I just kind of just little doodles and stuff on it. And then you can see I kind of stamped on her face and just, you know, played around. So, um, and then this one was the... the Linda Carroll, again, her legs, but all you can see is the feet there. And then I tore this body out, same thing, just tore it right out of that sheet of paper, kind of did it in and out. And so she kind of looks like she's pretty hippie there. And then uh, for the top, I did the face the same way I did the other one with just the swifts of paint. It says, Kathy st stood bewildered. Um, she has an old fashioned camera, like, you know, she doesn't know how to use the old fashioned camera. Anyway, just, just goofy stuff. They're just meant to be fun. Like have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. And then after I cut the arms out, I just went along with my, um, fine line pin and did some little kind of like I was outlining them, but not, you know, not super seriously or strictly. And then I also kind of went around on her dress and outlined it kind of did like there was a little sort of tie there or something just you know whatever just have fun with it and then I put wings on both of them but you don't have to do that you don't have to do any of these things these are just ideas and then um I took white paint and on a paintbrush you know and just kind of did that sort of thing to get the white spatters so that is how I did those and then you can keep it as simple as this one that we did together on what was that Friday I think or no Monday yesterday so, um, yeah, this is just simply a piece of book page kept in its rectangular shape. I put the wings on and her head, I put her head on and then put this other piece of, um, fa fabric, um, textured paper over the top and a little Tim Holtz, um, 
tissue paper. I don't know why I'm struggling with that so much. And you can see like on this one, I colored her face with alcohol markers and then I stamped on her hair the little dots all over. But uh, I colored it with alcohol markers first. But these ones, I just put the paint on. So there's loads of different ways that you can color them. If you don't like, like seriously coloring or whatever, just get a little color on them so they look, um, you know, sort of real or whatever. So I figured what we could start with today is this uh, Imagine by Stamperia um, paper. And on the back of their, whatever you would call this, kind of their advertisement that goes on the front, page of their um, paper pad they had this and so I love these roses and stuff to me it's it's very shabby chic saying so um I'm gonna use that for one of them and then I thought maybe this one I even do things like this which is just I found this uh, dress form on Pinterest it's just an image of a dress form and I cut it out on cardstock well printed it and cut it out on cardstock and then you can use those as head you know or put a head on those as well use that as the body and then I'll put butterfly wings on that too and I don't worry about arms because once you have the butterfly wings on it looks pretty pretty good so first we need to deal with our faces though like what we want to do to them to um, make them livelier oh and you can also use things like this this is just uh, from antique papery she has these little they're sort of like journaling cards and you could easily just like have that as your body and put some legs arms and legs on it so you just just whatever just tear out paper um you could probably do it by gluing fabric onto paper however you want so what i thought we would do with this one is i'm going to take some sewing tissue and i've done this before i did this for the when we did the funny little men i used the tissue on the face i just like that because it takes down the white and um gives it a little texture and interest so i'm just going to take just trying to figure out if I want any of the words. Um, let's see. I tear out a piece here. I don't want a lot. Like, I don't want... I think I'll just do something like that. That little 5 eighths right there is fine. Because that adds a little interest, too. And for a glue book, I have these slick old... Um, I don't know what these are. Like for knitting or crocheting or something. I don't do either, so I have no idea. I'm great, right? But I'm just gonna put glue all over her face, you know, out of the lines, and then get my tissue glued all down on there. Uh, I do want the 5 eighths a little bit there, because I just, I don't know, I like things like that. But, oh, except I don't want the cross across her eyes. That won't work. So we're gonna bring it down, and we'll put it on her face more. And then up here, you can see there's like some of the white of um, the paper showing, and I don't really worry about that either. And I think I'll probably do the same with the other lady. Um, for some reason, the sewing tissue kind of does make me think of that whole shabby chic thing. So on her, I might just have a little bit of the words just right on there and not anywhere else. And then you can still add color to their faces if you want to do that. What am I doing? Um, you know, just so that they aren't just this color. But this is just kind of a nice way to give an all-over color. I'm going to actually use my Distress Crayons from Tim Holtz. I hardly ever use these. I always forget I even have them. And as I don't know, oh yeah, this is what turns it up. See, I don't even know how to use them. I bought them, and then I don't know why. I just never really did anything with them. But I think they would work pretty good for this, just to give her, like, color there. And I think you can wet them a little bit. I didn't bring any water, so hold on just a minute. I'm going to grab some water. See, you changed my mind, like, ten times. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I got a little water, but first I think I'm going to try to just sort of Smudge it and see what happens. That kind of gives it that maybe a little bit old fashioned look, I think. I just want to add a tiny bit of water and see what that does. I don't even really know how to use these. You guys are probably screaming because, um, yeah, I'm horrible. <laughs> I did know how to use them at one point when I bought them. 
but it's been literally so long I can't even remember what you're supposed to do with them but they're great colors for this kind of shabby chic thing so I apologize for being clueless but just hang in there with me and hopefully we'll get somewhere see I like that I just like that little bit of color and I'll probably do some other things to her too but let's let's go ahead and just do her hair I'm all over the place I apologize <laughs> it's one of those kind of days <laughs> I get excited when I get to do art dolls <laughs> I love doing them but I know you know like some people don't like it it's just one of those things that's like you either like it or you don't but I think they're kind of growing on people I think um because I know I had people for a while say that they were creepy and so I quit doing it because I just you know I don't obviously want people to be creeped out or anything but um hopefully I just think they're super fun so it showed as like yellow and that is totally not what this color is but it definitely helps to get them wet a little bit move them around they don't smear real great. Oops. I didn't water. I just realized I didn't water today. <laughs> Such a dope. I had to run to the post office and then um, I came back and I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the Marguerite Miller collage challenge this time and um for what the prompts are I kind of want to do something funny but I'm just struggling finding stuff and that happens sometimes somebody mentioned I want to see your um um magazine collection and to be honest with you my sister got me I don't know I think it maybe was she's over Christmases and birthdays and things like that. I think she's gotten me about six magazines or so, maybe four, and then I might have had a couple other ones. But anyways, um, and that's really all I've been using. I've just been really lucky to have some really cool images. I don't have like a big collection of that kind of stuff at all. But um, yeah, so that was kind of funny because it's like I really don't have a huge collection. And I do go find stuff in other books that I have and um on pinterest sometimes i look for images or that collage book that i have but yeah i really don't have like a lot of books or magazines i've just been very fortunate that the ones that she got me for gifts um had some great stuff in them that was really what the key was and they're like 1955 better homes and gardens and things like that so if you ever see stuff like that snap it up even if when you're looking at it you're like what am I gonna even do with this but it's amazing those ads in those are just great I mean they're just super fun and um colors are great a lot of times and sometimes they're even just funny <laughs> so that's kind of neat sorry I just want to get a little more color on her hair there and then still went away but it's all right I'll ink her a little bit. Sorry, I know this is kind of slow. But yeah, I don't have like a giant collection of magazines or anything to cut up. I do have quite a few old, and they're not that old because they're subs a subscription that we had, but um, National Geographic. And I have used a few of those. But the best images I've found have come out of those like Better Homes and Gardens magazines. By far, they're the best. I'm just going to cut it there because I'm not sure where I want it. Okay, I'm going to kind of just let this one dry over here because I don't know yet how what I want to do with her. Get my pen dry there. But I think she's very cute. Looking quite fabulous. And then we're going to take our paper and I actually might glue... Um, I think I'm going to use this section right here. So I'm going to glue a piece of this on there just for backing 
so that I don't have to try to do it after I rip out a shape because that's a little bit tricky to do. So yeah, I thought it was great how um, Stamperia puts a design on the back of this front cover of their paper pad. That's awesome. I I don't have a lot of experience with them. I've just, I think this is the only paper pad of theirs I've ever had. And I just loved it. It's so great. I actually have a journal coming up again where I'm going to use this. I had a custom order. And so I thought this is great for that. I'm just going to kind of go like right here, I think. Take it down a little bit lower. That way it'll be all backed and then I don't have to worry about it. I should have done this first and I just forgot. Because it's probably not going to tear really well. So let's go ahead and color this face after all. While that dries. Because I don't want it to tear all messed up. So we're basically just going to do the same thing with her. Just get her going. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I never even said that. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I just get in like the mode, you know, and get jabbering about whatever. But I thank you all. Anybody who's gone over and checked out my website, I really appreciate it. That's been fun, and I have had a few snafus, but um, just bear with me, and I, I just promise I will always try to make it right, because we're still learning, too, on this doing your own website thing. But, um, yeah, it's... I'm hoping it's going to be good. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm not sure what color this is. If it's actually a brown? Oh, no, it's green. So I think I'll use something else on her hair. Because I kind of want like a, a brownish hair or something on that one. Let's see. I have my Arteza Everblend um, alcohol markers, and they work pretty good. The skinny side. So yeah, you can cover these faces just however however you like to make them make them your own. Make them work for whatever you're doing. Because they are fun to play with these art dolls, that's for sure. This is kind of neat because it makes the alcohol marker bleed a little bit just because of the tissue on there. So that comes out kind of cool. And then you can even put a little color on their eyes if you want to do that to give them a little more interest. And I'm not coloring perfect because I, you know, I'm okay with some white spots. I think that kind of adds to it for this. And this one I'm gonna kind of just go around a little. I'm not gonna cut it right up to the hair and stuff because like she's got this little extra hair sticking up. I don't want to miss any of those. So yeah, I hope you all had a nice weekend. I don't know if I said that. I filmed my last video last week, so I'm on to the new week. So on Mondays, sometimes I may not say that, but I hope you did have a nice weekend. This is a little bit weird right here with her neck and we may end up changing it anyway because that um the top of that like mannequin body thing or dress form is pretty tiny i may end up doing something entirely different with her i don't know but i'm gonna make this thinned out a little bit sorry i know it's like watching paint dry watching people cut but Most of you are pretty patient with me, <laughs> luckily, because <laughs> some days I'm a bit of a train wreck. So yeah, I'll have to thin out her neck. I could even go this way more, but yeah, I'll play with that some more. Okay, let's do this one now. It's probably dry enough. 
So all I do is just kind of I don't know, tear out a form, basically. I might just let me get this out and then I'll work on the shape of it more. Because I want to tear this side off a little bit too. Let's go this way. So you can have it like maybe there's a dress at the bottom if you want. Let it come in a little bit at the waist. And then maybe go back out. Sorry, I thought I was off camera there. I always forget and hold it too high and then you can't see anything. So just depending on how tall you want her. See, now I'm already seeing if I go like this, I feel like this is her arm right here. And it's just, it's totally all up to the person who's making it, what it looks like to them. You know what I mean? Like I could do this one to come out a little bit. And then that could almost be like a sleeve because I don't love trying to find arms and everything for these all the time. Um, it can be very tricky, <laughs> to say the least. So do something like that. I might tear a little, a little bit of this off the bottom. I do like it. I like the blue because it does feel like it gives you a ruffle or something at the bottom of her dress but I don't want it quite that tall that was pretty tall I ink around that ink this as well and I could even kind of come in more It looks like there's a spot for her neck. We may only get one of these done because they are pretty time consuming. It took me quite a while to do those two that I showed you when I started today. They were, took a minute. So I think I need some shoes. And let's see, what shoes do we want? Maybe we'll use the ones with the roses since we're doing the art doll thing. Sorry I didn't have these cut out. I just didn't know what I wanted to use until I got started, you know? And this is cool because she does have some arms, which that's very helpful. Indeed. Especially when you're just making the body out of like some torn paper. Sorry, I had to have a little drink there. I have my Pepsi. Sorry, it's just truck galore around here. I don't think it's ever going to end. I was hoping they would put another road in here, but they didn't. Hi, son. Hi. What are you up to? Nothing. <laughs> Are you lost because you don't have homework or work? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> For like the first time in... The whole summer? <laughs> yeah, the whole summer. I can actually do whatever I want. You're like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you can go get that digi ready. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to put him to work, see. That's what I do. I think sometimes he hides upstairs just so he doesn't have to <laughs> do stuff for me. He's my huge help. Huge help. Oh my gosh. What would I even do? I don't know. He's the one that figured out that website. I downloaded all the videos on there, but he, um, or digis, not videos, but he is the one that figured out the rest of it because 
that was over my head. But Shopify, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed so far anyway. It seems like it's a pretty good setup. Like, um, probably what Etsy kind of used to be, maybe. I mean, you can, you don't have to just do art on it, but I'm just saying, I think that's a good setup. I hope it stays like that. Oh, you know what? I should have put her legs on and then you know, backed it. I don't, they don't need to be this long though. I can really just do the shoes, but they need some backing because they're pretty thin. So I should have backed them before I cut them out. That wasn't smart. But I'll save you the torture and I'll just back them later with something. Okay, so I think this way, I think I'll just kind of cut them off about here just to glue them on. Just so we got some shoes. Okay, and then we can put other stuff on this because it is shabby chic, right? So I've got stuff like you could put these kind of things on. You could put lace on. Might be pretty to put some lace at the bottom, but I've got some better lace for that. This pretty lace, that might be a little too long though. Yeah, it would hang down too far. Um, let's see. This might work. I could just take a piece of this. I don't have to use the whole height of it. Just use this bottom part. <laughs> Excuse him, sorry. Jeez, I hope you didn't hear that. Boys, telling you the belching and all that sometimes. These scissors are like not meant for cutting fabric. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna put that down there. So yeah, then you just have fun basically once you get just a basic body and stuff. You can just play with it. Have a good time. Oh my goodness. Come on, glue. It's got a huge stuck piece of gobbledygook there. Uh-oh. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I thought it was something important. I'm waiting for a call from my doctor's office. I have to have an ultrasound on my leg. But, um, of course, it was just another ridiculous sales call. I really, it's so aggravating because it says, you know, it's from your state or whatever. It just does. You guys know it's just aggravating. So anyhow, that's all that was. So I apologize for having to stop there. Yeah, there's this weird, um, I don't know what else to call it, a, kind of a growth on my leg. <laughs> and um, they can't figure out what the heck it is, so I have to go in for a vascular ultrasound. So I don't know, don't know what that's about, but it kind of hurts. So, But it's not like anything big and red or, you know, it's nothing like that. It's just, it's like the same color as my skin. It's just, um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so anyhow, that's what I was hoping it was, was an appointment for that. Um, I need a paper towel. But it wasn't. And I backed her shoes so that they're um, now a little bit more stable. Yeah, it's interesting as you age, the crazy stuff that happens. But there's no explanation for it, seems, most of the time. I think you just have to know the back of these dolls uh, may be a little odd looking. <laughs> I don't know that there's any other way to do it, though. So she's just going to be like that, I guess. Works. 
I'm gonna head here, and then I think I will put wings because I do like the wings. I keep moving things around, so I don't know where anything's at. very pink wings yes that would that would make her very shabby and we will do some paint spatters and add some other fun bits she needs like a rose or something in her hair I feel like let's get rid of this you don't need the body you can what I often do is just cut down the center of the body and cut off the head part. That's kind of the easiest way to do that. It just makes it so you can see more of the butterfly than if you're trying to just put it straight behind them. See, and these really could be um, backed as well. I come back here because I do kind of want it to look like this could be an arm right here. So really with art dolls, there's, in my opinion, I maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but I don't really think there's rules. So just, like, have fun with it. Just um, make them how you like them, you know, as goofy or silly or, you know, they don't have to make sense. That's not, that's really not the point is um, that they make sense. It's just, they're fun. I mean, obviously, you kind of want it to look a little bit like something, either animal or um, human or whatever, but it doesn't have to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. And I do like to tilt their heads one, one direction or another. I just think they look cute like that. Okay. Let's add some more fun stuff to her, and we should probably, I can see the arms and all that now so I'm gonna kind of do this sort of thing I know it's a dress and usually dresses don't have a whole lot of a pocket but we're gonna make it have a pocket this one's a little bit more like maybe a pocket here and then we're gonna come up just kind of Maybe it's kind of baggy or something, you know. So this one is here. Okay, so just, I don't know, it's super, just keep it simple. And then I kind of scribble a little bit around the edges. And that's the other thing. I don't really think you want to like outline super carefully because I don't know, I just think it adds a little more whimsy when you just do it quick. She's got like some big, big pockets in this dress. The best kind, because then you can put your phone in it. <laughs> My loan. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm gonna put some buttons. Okay. So just something like that. I think they're cute like that. And then what else do we want to add to this? Maybe just some fabric. I have like these, but there's already roses all over it. So maybe. Little 
blip of something here. Kind of like we did on, um, gosh, what were those that we did that? Oh, those first, these guys. And there's a video for that one too. My silly little corrugated cardboard girls that were super fun to make. So I like this all frayed and messed up there. It just adds a little something. I kind of like this bit. These are probably leftovers from when I was making those Easter eggs, I bet. Um, I'm just going to take this piece off. It doesn't need it. Ah, sorry, my hands. And then maybe just a little lace. I thought I wanted to use those, but I don't know. Maybe a flower. Maybe this flower. But you could make it as blingy as you like. Oh, maybe one of these could go in her hair. Let's see. They're kind of big. This is off of a wedding dress. I'm assuming these were gifted to me by my friend Joe Beth. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue here because that um, pearl is looking like it wants to take off. We don't want that. No taking off. Eh. Oh, speaking of weddings, it was really cool on um, Saturday out behind us in our, what they call a common area, you know, um, that anybody in the neighborhood can use there was a wedding and I was like, it was literally right behind our house. It was kind of crazy. Thought that was special. It was a little loud for a while, but it was fine. You know, the music and all, but they were having fun and it was, it was great. It wasn't a big, huge wedding. It was just kind of a little, sort of like my niece's wedding was just small, nice. But, keep trying to use those and they don't work. I don't know if I made that better or worse, but is it not there? Is it just too big? I need a smaller one for her hair. Oh, I've got this itty bitty itty bitty pink. That would be better. This could go down here though. Maybe a bit of this. Not that piece or this piece. I think I'll do just like that. And for this one, I think I'm probably going to stitch that. I'll glue it now just to hold it, but um, I think I want to stitch it. I should have put one of those. Where did it go? Do I want one of these? I think this has to go first. Gotta have a little gingham, right? Oh, I need to bring that up here. Um, you can use art glitter glue or like 
not art glitter glue, that is art glitter glue. Um, Fabri-Tac is the word. If you don't want to stitch, just Fabri-Tac it. I just, I don't like Fabri-Tac, so. It's a how it feels on my hands thing. It's nothing bad about Fabri-Tac, I'm just weird. <laughs> it's a me weird thing. Um, I think this might be the front. So yeah, just dress them up as fabulous as you like. And I will stitch that. I'll have to watch out for that little pearl. And then we need to put this up in her hair. Let me get just a tiny, tiny. These are just those little itty bitty paper flowers. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. Pretty sure. I think I like her. I think I like it. So I think I'll set her aside and we'll work on the other one. These ones are fun. I, I, like I said, do these quite often. And I know it's kind of odd. And this is, I think, the ones that people get kind of, you know, don't like. Because they are odd looking. Because they have no <laughs> real legs or anything, really. Arms, any of that. But, um... You know, however you like it. Do it the way you like it. This is just an idea. And you can either, you could add arms and you can add to it however you like. I'm just doing it the way I I like to do them. Okay, what do I do with my bag of butterflies again? Now she obviously does not need giant wings. Those little light pink ones are kind of cute. Let's use those. And we'll do the same thing. We're going to just we don't need the body and we don't need those. Antlers, as Gail calls them. <laughs> Antenna, is that what the, I like, can't even think of what the real name is now because I listen to her say that and then I start saying it. <sighs> she cracks me up. Montana butter butterflies have antlers. Apparently, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So, if we put some of this on there, oh, it'll be too long, probably. Oh, yeah, it's way long. Darn! Because that would be fun. Okay, how about put some of this down at the bottom? Where was I? <laughs> Oh, grab those. Those don't work. <laughs> and again, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to cut that just a little bit more this way. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Then, gross. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking you probably can't hear him, so I'm hoping that is true. <laughs> Praying for that. Um, I think these are just too big for any of that. 
It's so tiny, tiny, tiny. Could probably cut a flower out of that. Or just a piece, but no, let's use cut this. I have this little bow. This might be kind of cool on this one because it's pretty, pretty shabby. I don't know why I tied it in the middle there, but. This always reminds me of Lori Fusco, Girl on the Ridge. I think that's how you say your name, Lori. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Um, but, you know, because she always does the, the bows. If you like Shabby Chic, watch Girl on the Ridge. Because, wow, she does, she does Shabby Chic really well. I want it up here. It's just really big up there. But it's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know now. I'm not liking it. Let's make it smaller. Tails. Yeah, I'll just do that. But that will work. Okay. Glue across here. My glue is getting funky again. So let it sit open. Yeah, I don't know if she's done any art dolls or not, but she does some beautiful like envelopes and just, I don't know, very shabby stuff. Oh, we need to do some white paint splatters, but we can do both of them at the same time. Her neck. It's too thick. Which I kind of knew that. She kind of needs something in her hair as well, and she's even tinier, so let's see. Maybe I can cut out one of these roses. <laughs> Maybe. They're just tiny. This one will probably work. I don't think I'm gonna leave the leaf on there just because it'll be too big for her hair if I do that. Wow, it's still huge. But yeah, if you enjoy shabby chic, then you'll definitely be able to probably, you know, like if that's a style that you do quite frequently, then um, it'll probably be even easier for you to make them look that way. I did it for a while. I kind of go in and out of stuff. I get bored with the same stuff all the time. So I have to try new stuff. <laughs> I think we're all probably a little like that. Mix it up, keep it interesting. But I 
where it says she's quite shabby. Shabby chic. I don't know if I want it. I don't know. I don't like it necessarily either way here. But we'll just do it this way. Maybe we'll put something up there. Like a little bitty piece of lace or something. Probably some of this because it's super fine. Don't even need anywhere near that much. I don't know where I was going, but like just a little something like that across there. See, this kind of fiddly stuff kind of makes me nuts. It's sticking to my finger, not to the paper. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mm. I need my little tweezers that I have and I never use because that's the way I am. Not much of a tool user. Okay, better, yes. So then you can also do things like, which I forgot, the little words like we have on the other ones. Um, let's see. We'll put hope and dreams on her and you can put them on their face like if there's room like I did with the other ladies or not on the face but I mean you can put them on the face but I put them up in the hair you know or you can put them on the clothes or wherever wherever you like sorry there's glue string hanging out So I hope this helped, Irma. Um, you were mentioning that you're gonna do a shabby chic journal. And so yeah, I hope that's helpful. I think they're cute. I don't think these ones to me seem creepy at all. Maybe it's the drawn, the hand-drawn faces that make it a little less eerie for me. Um, of course, the other ones don't really bother me either, but I understand that that is, that is kind of weird. Because my dad was kind of sensitive to stuff like that. He didn't like anything unnatural looking, you know, as far as human bodies or what, you know what I mean? He just, he would get weird about even seeing like the muscles and all that, you know, on um, he went to like a, I don't know what you'd call that, it was some kind of exhibit, but anyway, they had just the, um, pictures of the bodies with, you know, the muscle showing, just the muscle, and he just, he did not like that, so just any of that kind of thing, I understand, like, some people just struggle with it, it just isn't a comfortable thing. All right. Um, I, I know what I can do. I have Meredith, so maybe her name is Meredith. Achieved Transcendent Peacefulness. I like it. <laughs> They're just names and words that I find in old book page. That's it. It's all, literally all it is. It's nothing um, hard to to come up with. You can just... Just anything sort of odd, like I found transcendent peacefulness, you know what I mean? It's just kind of a funny little thing to do. And I like them when they're just ripped out. You can cut them out if you like that uh, cleaner look. I just kind of like to 
tear them out. And you know, all books, well, most books anyway, have names or something. So it's kind of easy to find these silly little things like this. I have it down here, I think, because I was trying to scoot it over far enough and not cover it up. I'll have to fix that little piece of lace so that it hangs over here. Clean up all my glue splotches. So I'm gonna go stitch those and I will be right back. Okay, so they're all stitched, so I'm gonna show you. I just stitched down here, stitched a little on that flower, stitched all the way across here. So you can see it better on the back. Okay, so that one is all, I'm trying to keep it in the light so you guys can see. It's all done. Oh, the paint, I keep, I keep forgetting the paint. Let's do that really quick. Sorry, such dope. Okay. We're just gonna use the back of this one. <laughs> Some white paint. You don't even need that much. It was full, so kind of got carried away there. I'm actually gonna put another one of these down because the other day I managed to get it everywhere. I probably still will, but you know, I'll try. <laughs> try not to. And then I have water on my brush. I'm just getting a little paint on here. You kind of want it thin, that's why you do the water. I should probably use the one that I already got paint all over. Because I'm good at that. I'm just kind of spattering it everywhere but on the Try not to get a ton on their faces because obviously like you don't want to cover up their eyes or whatever. See, that's, I always do that. I stink at this. Like some people are so good at this and I am not that person. But anyway, it does add something and I like it. So I'll try to get better at it. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, right? Or so they say. I don't think anything's perfect, but. I suck at that. <laughs> I'll be the first to tell you. Oh, jeez. Luckily, I didn't mess her up. I don't know how. And then, like I was saying, can add some color around their eyes, which I may end up doing that once this dries, but I'm not going to mess with that anymore. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope Irma that this will give you a couple of ideas of maybe some different things that you could do. So have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Love ya. Bye.